Did you bring it? Yes. Can you show me? Just keep in mind, this is a great value for my people. Hello, dear viewers. A very interesting and delicious day awaits us today. We are going to visit the mountain people, the Chechen family. Let's go. I decided to come to the village early in order to get to know more about the history and culinary arts of this people, who goes to visit in the morning. Do not judge harshly. It is not a lack of upbringing or patience. The Chechen people have a saying, happiness comes to a house at dawn. Therefore, Chechens are used to getting up with the first rays of the sun. Therefore, I have no doubt that they have long been ready to welcome guests. Dear friends, all the fun is about to begin. Stay with us. Chechens are representatives of the Nak people from the North Caucasus. Together with the Ingush, they came to Kazakhstan in the 40s of the 20th century. At one time, Russian historian described the Chechens as a hospitable people with a special sparkle in their eyes. They were even called the French of the Caucasus. The word Vainak can often be heard from the representatives of this people. In translation, it means our people. Hello, welcome. Did I come right? Yes, right. It's cold. I was walking, freezing, and then I saw your clothes. Immediately, my soul felt so warm. You have a wonderful outfit. Thank you. Come on in. I have heard a lot about the hospitality of the Chechen people. The fact that I was greeted on the doorstep in national dress created a special mood. Of course, such friendliness towards guests will not leave anyone indifferent. Our guest is the most respected person, so the guests are seated at the place of honor. This is a tradition of the Caucasians. This is our custom. You are welcome. It is unusual to sit in a place of honor earlier than elders. Thank you very much for your kindness. How did you get here? Well, thanks. It was a nice trip. It's just cold. I'm very cold. Right now, we will give a hot tea to a guest, let him try our dishes, our Caucasian cuisine. It has always been customary for us to always meet the traveler. This is the law of the Caucasus, the law of our people. Chechens don't cook food without meat. There must be meat in the main national dishes. Perhaps that is why Chechen guys often win first places in wrestling competitions. 
Dear viewers, it's time to move on to the main topic. Today, I will learn how to cook a Chechen national dish called Zizik Galnash. And Mrs. Rosa will help me. If we translate into Russian, then Zizik means meat, and Galnash is noodles, right? Tell us a little about the history of this dish. As a mountain people, we often use corn flour along with wheat flour. Corn is yellow and white, and from wheat flour, we prepare four types of galushka. But the main thing in this dish is meat. So you are also meat eaters like us. Yes, we don't cook without meat. This dish looks like Kazakh Bezbamak. Only the sauce is slightly different and we add potatoes. Then let's get started. Yeshat, here men are responsible for cooking meat. Men are cooking. Only men cook meat. Dear viewers, as Rosa said, I will have to cook the meat. With your permission, I will take my meat. Oh, good luck. Thank you. Zelimhan, they have sent me to you. Rosa said that only men should cook meat. Therefore, she instructed me to cook meat for today's Zizik Galnash. Where do we start? What to do? First, you need to put the meat in a cauldron, pour water and make a fire. Fine, I'm ready. Then let's start. By the way, what kind of meat is it? Mutton? Yes, it's lamb, but beef can also be used in this dish. And even poultry meat is possible. Which one is tastier? Lamb is the most delicious, and from salted and air-dried meat. Can you use dried meat too? Yes. What could be better than cooking outdoors? How wonderful it is to communicate with nature, chop wood and make a fire. You only understand this when the bustle of the city makes the soul yearn for such a cozy silence. In addition, food cooked in a cauldron always tastes better. Rosa, I see two kinds of dough here. One is white and the other is yellow. What are they made of? The dough is made from cornmeal, here is yellow corn, and here is white. Now let's start slowly. Let Rosa show us what to do. We need to split the dough and wet fingers. Yes, try it too. Then we roll the balls. Very soft. Yes, the dough is soft. Then we press down with three fingers. You need to wet your fingers. You are good at it. It is really beautiful. Yes. Let me help you. Like this. It seems simple, but difficult to do. This is our dough, but in general different types of dough are made for dumplings. This is how we cut the dough and like this. Galushka can be made different. It depends on the imagination of each hostess. We roll the dough like this. Then you cut it. Cut into small pieces. Yes. 
We make shells with three fingers. We pinch with three fingers and twist right. Yes, that's it. Well, try it. When I cook or do housework in general, I always sing Kazakh songs. So let's cook and sing. I really like the songs of Shamshi Kaldeyakov. There is one wonderful waltz. I will begin, and you join. With pleasure. Then, let's get started. Zalema, what are you doing? We have two sauces in our national cuisine. Garlic and with potatoes. Garlic is mainly served with salted meat than with regular meat. Potato is mainly made for galushka with chicken. Here we squeeze out the garlic. We soak it a little in cold water to get rid of the bitterness, as they say. Then we get the garlic and add salt to taste with black pepper to the broth. We need to peel the potatoes, cut into small pieces and add it to the broth. Then, as the potatoes are boiled, it turns out to be mashed potato. The consistency should be as of sour cream. My name is Yashat. I am Janice. It was a great dance. Thank you. I also wanted to dance to this rhythmic music, but I don't know the movements. Can you show a couple of the main ones? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. The most important thing is to bring your right leg forward. Left hand forward, right back. We take a step and open our hands, then we change. We open and change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stronger. This is called side move. Step to the right, stomp with your right foot. Left, back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I will show you the simplest movement. Hands forward, we open, we close. We go to the right. Once we open, close. Open, close. Great! I heard that these dancers have their own strict rules. Can you tell us about them? The most important thing is that you cannot touch the girl with your hands. Can you be punished even if you accidentally hit her? 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What a dance! Dear viewers, I continue to get acquainted with the national dishes of the Chechen people. Now, together with Mrs. Kazima, we will prepare another folk dish, chapal gash. Kazakhs call it chelpek, but there is a difference between them. I will ask Kazima to tell us about this in more detail. Yes, these are your shelpeks. Only they are prepared with a filling. The filling with cottage cheese, and you can add there, for example, chopped green onions. It will be even tastier. Kazima, I have seen yellow oil, white oil, but I have never seen brown oil. What is it? It is made of flax. You see flax seeds. We take it, put it in a special jar and grind it. This produces such crushed grains. Then after that it turns out this kind of ground grains. You see what? All this is fried. For example, ghee is also added here. Often honey is also added too to make it tastier and healthier. As a result, we get the cakes that are made, dipped and eaten there. This is delicious. Here it is. A step for grinding grouts, right? Looks like it's an old dish. This stupa is brought from the Caucasus. It's been a hundred years. The owner, grandmother, passed away 30 years ago. When she was still very young, she brought it from the Caucasus. It turns out that this dish is already a century old. Surprisingly, well, I learned this story, let's start cooking. With what do we start? Flatbreads. Here's the stuffing. Cottage cheese, salted cottage cheese. Here you can cut and add a green onion. It is up to the taste of who loves greens. To save time, let me cut myself. And you roll out the dough. Well, our chapal gash is ready. It is necessary to fry it in a frying pan without butter. We have found that this dish is very healthy. If you prefer a very daily diet, you can safely add chapal gash to your menu. By the way, I noticed that Chechens are so scrupulous not only about their cuisine, but also about their history. It was impossible not to notice this old jug.
Zoe Hanum. Zoya, as far as I know, this junk has its own story. I am interested in it very much. Can you tell us more? It was made at the beginning of the 20th century, and it was brought during the years of deportation. It is precious, because that woman now died, she did not even want to give us this kumgan. After her death, the children handed over to us for an exhibition at the Ethnocultural Center, and they wanted it to be preserved. It is dear because when they were deported, this kumgan may have saved many lives, because they fill it with water. It is made of pure copper, and now it has been preserved and has come to our days. Our girls walk on the water, where young men can meet girls, where, where they get water, because the girl is not allowed to go to other places so easily, according to our customs. And for this, there is a Kumgan with whom they went to fetch water. Why did the Caucasian Kumgan have such a form? Because they lived in the mountains, they had to go down to the spring, the water shouldn't have splashed. How interesting it is! Probably this jug once connected more than one pair of loving hearts. The whole day flew by. The meat is ready, the galushkas are boiling. I intend not to make the hosts wait long and rather treat them to a national Chechen dish prepared by myself. Ladies and gentlemen, here are my Zizi Galiash. Help yourself and give your marks. The only familiar dish on this table is Zizi Galnash. What other national dishes are there? Tell us. A peculiar kind of sausage. It is called barish. They don't add rice, because many believe that rice is added there. There is a heart, there is a liver, a very useful dish, unusual. And notice what it was stuffed with. It's meat. Stomach. Right. I would also like to offer you, dear guests, they are called hingalish. These are in the form of pastries, and the filling is pumpkin. And I noticed our Kazakh Bejbamak in the very center of this table. Yes. Excellent. And it turns out that today we are sitting at a table where the cuisines of the two nations are combined. I think I will eat a lot today. Bon appétit, everyone. Let's eat. We had a guest who told me that a woman lived not far from our area, Kazakh by nationality. And during the years of deportation, due to that time, she received a Chechen family at her home. She had children, by the way, she had eight children, and there were children in a Chechen family. When they returned to their historical homeland, the children grew up, returned back with gratitude to this woman. And she talked about the three boys of her sons. And she told everyone that she had 11 children, not eight. There are a lot of such stories. So, gentlemen, did you like the galnash of my preparation? It is very tasty. You have tried well. Thank you. Everything turned out great for you. Yours is better than of our women. That's lovely. Yeah, Shat, your today's dish is very delicious. Thank you. You deserve the highest grade. Thank you. Thank you very much. I am very glad that you liked it. Bon appétit. Chechens are a people who have preserved their traditions and customs despite the trials. Guests here are greeted warmly and they set a rich table for guests. I recognize them as brave, honest people with hearts full of courage. They say that today is tomorrow's story. Of course, this day will remain in our memory. Well, we are not saying goodbye. It is the program Delicious Kazakhstan. There are many delicious trips ahead. <laughs>